Yep, you heard that right. Today we're gonna talk about Anime Reborn, the new game in Roblox that's going to be releasing very soon. I want to talk about it, so without further ado, let's get this video started. By the way, our goal is to reach 50,000 subscribers before the end of the year, so if you want to be part of our community at 40,000 subscribers, we are going to be doing a giveaway here in Anime Vanguards and maybe in Anime Reborn when that game comes out. All you have to do in order to be part of our 40k subscriber giveaway is to like and subscribe, and once we get to 40k, we're gonna do that giveaway. So subscribe right now and join our Discord. So I know that a lot of people, especially YouTubers, have been glazing Anime Reborn a lot now. So number one, okay, um, I just wanted to talk about Anime Reborn. This is not a sponsored video. I'm not paid and I'm not gonna get any money in the Anime Reborn, um, you know, release. I'm not gonna get any money from it. However, one of the things that I just noticed about Anime Reborn, and I did ask Sebastian about this, which is one of the co-owners. Um, I did ask him a bunch of questions such as, you know, the free-to-play situation. Is it gonna be pay to win? And ask him a bunch of questions as well. But one thing that I think you guys really need to know about Anime Reborn is it's going to be a community, uh, basically a community-owned game. What that basically means is since it's owned by content creators pretty much, the game and the owners are going to have or gonna have better communication with the community pretty much because if you notice in anime vanguards one of the biggest problem is communication but i don't think that's gonna be an issue at all with anime reborn because they are going to be very open with the community since they're gonna be making content about it since most of the owners are basically content creators right so this is definitely going to affect the game a lot and um, this will make the game a lot more community open, right? Instead of anime vanguards where they basically don't communicate with their players at all, I think anime vanguards or sorry, anime reborn will definitely not have that same problem. But on top of that, since these guys are also free to play players and not, not free to play players, but content creators, they probably know how hard it is um, to spend money on, you know, these tower defense games and pretty much um pretty much you know not get anything so i did ask sebastian which is one of the co-owners of the game about if there's going to be farmable riddles and he did actually mention that there's going to be farmable riddles in this screenshot right here so there already you can instantly tell that this game is practically ahead of other games already right so it's going to be a very good game um i will show you guys the trailer right here as well um just to show you so i'm gonna give you guys my honest thoughts right here first and foremost i think the map is a pretty decent map um the map honestly looks pretty good i think it reminds me of some old games i think um, what's this other game anime champions game or anime fighter simulators it reminds me of those maps um and some criticisms i will have um first and foremost i think the models is actually much better in anime vanguards so I do think the models in Anime Vanguards is much better. Um, but however, the models here is definitely nothing to scoff at. The models here are better than the models that you will find in Anime Last Stand. Better than the models you will find in Anime Defender since they literally don't have anime models. Um, however, I think the Anime Vanguards models are still slightly better. But the Anime Reborn models and even some of their maps are still nothing to scoff at. Their maps are pretty good. However, their you know their models definitely aren't the best. But their oh, sorry, their models isn't the best. They're probably the second best out there. You know, better than Anime Defenders. Um, maybe behind Anime Real because Anime Real has you know really great models. But their models are genuinely pretty good. Better than Anime Last Stand. Better than Anime Defenders. And yeah, this is a very good thing. On top of that, there will also be, from what I'm seeing here, um, this might be um, cutscene moves, cutscene attacks. So what I'm seeing right here is it does actually look a lot like Anime Defenders, or it doesn't look like Anime Defenders, but um, it does remind me of the some Anime Defenders vibes mixed with some features from Anime Vanguards. I think that's a really great way to describe what I'm seeing right now. So it gives off the, the UI, the user interface, and you know, the HP and even the damage um, that's being released or the damage output that's being released by the enemies it does remind me of anime defenders quite a bit however there are some features in here that also reminds me of anime vanguards particularly this cuts in image right here this might be a boss event or boss raid so this alone this reminds me of anime vanguards so i think it's a combination of the best parts in anime defenders and also some of the best parts in anime vanguard so instantly already that's pretty good again their models and their vfx are decent they're good but i wouldn't say 
say they're the best. Like, I won't glaze them and say, oh my god, their models are the absolute best, but their models are very good, okay? Not the absolute best, but very good. So, I think where this game will really shine a lot the most in is communication. I think this game is going to be a free-to-play game where people won't have to spend as much money as in anime vanguards. People will probably be able to farm this game free-to-play without spending money. And on top of that, communication with the owners, since the owners are practically content creators, there's going to be better communication with them. And um, I think that that's pretty much where this game will really shine in the most. And I think they will also probably um, pick up where Anime Vanguards, you know, was weak in. So Anime Vanguards is a great game. However, I think Anime Vanguards is very weak when it comes to communication and also when it comes to updates, which is very obvious right now. Anime Vanguard is very weak when it comes to updates. So they're probably going to do better when it comes to updates. They're probably also going to do better when it comes to communication. And if you take a look at Anime Defenders, that game is very good with communication and updates, but their updates that they're releasing aren't always the best of the best updates. And it's probably because they can use actual models um, maybe it's because people hate the fact that their economy is broken so I think Anime Reborn is gonna do a better job than both Anime Vanguards and Anime Defenders did in those certain areas is it gonna be the best game out there that's not gonna be for me to say but you know I haven't really tested it out yet but for me already I'm gonna tell you this right now I will play Anime Reborn and the reason why I will definitely play it already is because I can basically free to play this game right i don't need to spend money like in anime vanguards where i need to spend a ton of money and again i know the owners of this game i can talk to the owners of this game about certain stuff and there will be more communication with the owners of this game which is a very big plus for me as a content creator so that alone does give me a lot of incentive to play this game um the very biggest incentive is the free-to-play aspect. That alone is enough, in my opinion, to get me more hooked into this game than in Anime Vanguards. Because at this point, I really don't want to spend more money in Anime Vanguards. So I'm in a point right now where if Anime Reborn is going to release with free-to-play features such as farming needles, then I'm definitely going to you know, play that game a lot more. And all they really have to do right now in order to be really great is to just update consistently, I think. All they really have to do right now, in my opinion, is to just release the game. You know, don't delay and basically just keep up a good update schedule. Don't make bad decisions like, you know, Anime Defenders did very bad decisions with trading. And don't make the game pay to win. And I think that alone, they just have to do that and keep to that. And I think they will have a very great game already. Um, they can definitely take some of the cool aspects in Anime Vanguards and maybe improve upon it in Anime Reborn. But again, I really do think and do have a lot of hopes with Anime Reborn because this is a game that's led by, you know, content creators. And again, this is a game that can learn from the mistakes that Anime Vanguards had. And if you can take a look right here, you can see right here, I think they will have cutscene abilities as well. So I think it's very possible that they're going to have cutscene abilities as well, um, as we have seen right here. So that I'm very excited to to see, or no, that's not a cutscene ability, but again, their, their abilities, their VFX is pretty decent. So I'm very excited for Anime Reborn because a lot of what they have in this game is improved aspects, improved things from Anime Defenders and Anime Vanguards, and the fact that it's also free to play is definitely very interesting so anime reborn is gonna release eventually all they really have to do right now is release the game um you know communicate with the players and be honest and i think anime reborn can do very well probably not as good as anime vanguards because anime vanguards is big but there's a very big possibility that anime reborn can do relatively well and probably better than anime last stand and anime defenders at this point but yeah, um, I have high hopes for Anime Reborn and congratulations to the content creators and the owners of this game. And yeah, let's get to playing uh, eventually when this game releases.